Hello everyone, and by some request, someone actually was like, well, how did YouTube impact me? At first, I was going to come over here and say, it didn't impact me at all. Not at all. But, truth be told, it did. Yeah, it's amazing. It did. There's a few things that it actually did. I mean, one thing, it did open my eyes to the whole fact of dumpster diving. Yeah, definitely. Which I would have loved to do, but sadly, because of house guests and extra expenses, I basically am grounded for like a few months, I guess. So yeah, that's going to be a while. But one thing it did do was that, and also you had Craigslist Finds dudes. They actually wised me up to a actual website, I mean a fan page or whatever, a page on... Facebook that actually specifies on the whole yard sale stuff because that's one thing I also enjoy is the idea of yard sales if you guys haven't seen my yard sale <clears throat> episode yeah you should definitely see it because there's like one well I have two stories on there but one of them is yard sale related the other one is just basically by chance a good find but yeah, that's one thing. They did actually woke me up to that one. So as soon as I do something very special for my mirror, which is basically clean a deep fry, not a deep fryer, a deep freezer, because apparently we don't need it anymore. We have a very small house. So I actually will put it on Craigslist. I'll put it on that <clears throat> site too. And yeah, get something to help my mom and you will clean up some room for us. So yeah. That basically helped out. The other thing it did help me out is the fact of I could actually sell the game shark I really hate to have. Because I kind of have some suspicions that because of that game shark, my game, my Pokemon Crystal game is dead. Even though it's just the battery, the battery's dead. Yeah, the battery's dead. But I still blame it for it because most likely it kind of actually advance the process I did it to Pokemon gold and Pokemon crystal and at the same time they both actually gave their last breath of we can save no files no more so it's kind of horrible actually it is really really horrible and I don't want to ever use it again the last time I used it I think it was like some years ago with Pokemon blue actually getting new I think that was one thing I did I actually did use it on Pokemon red too and it was actually getting me enough coins, infinite coins, to actually get Porygon. Which I guess that was cool to do. So yeah, I don't really want it anymore. And I'm glad that I'm actually not only going to get, yeah, I'm going to get like extra cash for it too. Yeah, because I think I paid in total, it was $21 and maybe 34 cents. Usually that's the thing, unless it's 39 cents. So yeah. I'm glad to actually get rid of it and actually get a good decent amount. It's very, very unused. I mean, it is used, but not that used. And heck, you even get a case where you actually can use the book. And you also can get the CD and you get the cord for it. So it's like, wow. Yeah, all of it still together. The cord never been used. The disc never been used. The book, yeah, the book has been written on. But it's only because it gives you the codes to actually get Mew and Celebi, even though it's already in there, but yeah, whatever. So that's the good news, and let's see what else. Uh, also, just to go Euro Breaks with, because when I first read up on the whole, you must feel the bags, use the feeling force, that will help you to find what you're looking for. I read it, and I was like, ah, yeah, that sounds too ridiculous man I mean you want me to molest the bag are you serious what you want me to put R. Kelly music on and just be like there ain't nothing wrong no. while someone actually looks at me and like are you crazy which that's what happened I did what happened this is what happened too I had to make it look natural I did because it was a mom and the dad and the kid and I was like there's nothing wrong here there's nothing horribly wrong I'm not doing anything truly wrong or disgusting. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Yeah, I knocked the feeling force of it 
but I actually learned how to use it and it really is very useful. It sure beats the old ways of how to actually... <laughs> oh my gosh, dudes. Do I really have to tell you the actual way of doing it? That's very, very horrible. But you get a piece out of it. You get a piece out of it and you get your refund. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was really kind of a dirty move. A dirty handed move. So, yeah, with that said. Oh, uh, let's see. Is there anyone else? I think that's all. I think that's everything that actually goes down to it. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, it's... Yeah, it's that. I don't think there was anything else that really impacted me that much from YouTube. But, I think that's about it. One thing I would really like to do, which even though right now I'm really, really lacked on stuff, is the fact of actually giving you a nice little walkthrough of how to actually look for minifigures in Walgreens. Because there's some Walgreens that actually are like, we just took it out of the freaking other room, we took it out of the storage room, where we have all the stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we have all the stuff and all that stuff, which, if you don't know, you most likely would just pass by it. But I would just love to actually show a little bit of how to do it, you know? Because there could be so many of you who actually are like, holy frick, and I pass by that. Yeah, there's, yeah, I'll give you a little quick tip. If it seems like they don't have any minifigures, make sure you check all the friggin' boxes. Yeah, there's lots of boxes there from Halo to Angry Birds to, I think it was Bogo. Is that what they were? It's a green and yellow box. Yeah, usually those types of boxes actually might have them. And if they don't have any boxes, well, lucky, man. You're lucky. They got rid of all those crappy pieces of trash. So now it's like the only other place to look is actually in like some... I, I think it's in another aisle. And of course, you could actually look out like me, where you actually could get... Wow. You could actually get a Walgreens that actually is going to sell minifigures for one dollar. Or at least they had like a one dollar stamp on it. Which, that was a lucky day for me, and I wish I saw it sooner, so I could actually save some of that money. But, nope. But I guess it's good enough. I mean, it's good enough. I mean, at least I have like some stuff that many people might want. Which I would like to. I really hope that people eventually look and say, Oh, wow, I don't have this guy. And do it. And I'd say special thanks to the Californian guy. Thank you, dude. To actually buying that minifigure. Buying Larry the Barista. Yeah, that was cool. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. All I gotta do is just get that six dollars out of the freaking thingy, which is bull crap because man, you guys want this and that. So yeah, I have to go to a freaking bank, my bank, to actually get the funds activated. My gosh, man, it's like where does it end? Where does it freaking end? My god. <coughs> Anyways, it was just yeah, just. Nothing really happened, like, money-wise. I mean, yeah, like, the time where I actually got, like, the six things that won the double, I would have done it anyways. I mean, yeah, there's no real thing that could have impacted me on that. I actually would have got it anyways because I'm just saying the odds are I might actually not have that figure, even though it was, like, that one figure that I got out of it that wasn't a repeat. Given I technically shouldn't have bought season six because I had four left out of it, but of course, if I didn't check it out, how would I not know it's not the one I want? Besides the feeling force, but even so, I didn't even have the list on my hand, so it's kind of like yeah. And besides, I wasn't really. I was hoping to actually finish it off naturally, but yeah, apparently not. Oh well. But yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, that's basically it. Oh yeah, besides actually seeing the prices and seeing how I could actually make a profit out of it. Or if it's just worthy. Or is it worth it to actually have it. So it's kind of like, yeah. 
So I really hope I could actually do all the things I would like to do, but I have to wait until I get to have that birthday present that is way overdue. Like three months actually. Close to three months actually. Thanks a lot, homework. Which, I guess I'll end this by saying I am happy that I actually got all the minifigures from Lego Simpsons except for that certain one. And as soon as I get that certain one, I'll be happy and we actually can start the true fun of it all. Yeah, which I, I promise you, it's going to be very fun. At first, I was going to just do a layout where I'm like, all right, this is exactly what's going on and all that stuff. But since I have Simpsons Tap Out, I actually have like a few actual lines that I can actually record and let them say. Even if it's going to be just like some cut and paste thing as if you're prank calling using some voice thing in the bob. So yeah, that's basically all who impact on it. <clears throat> and I think it's quite fun and I just hope that I can raise more people's awareness of me and make them laugh and actually share this with people and they actually are like oh man this guy's cool instead of right now it's like a total drag <laughs> you know it's like a big fat drag it's like all right you get 17 people and then you get 16 i wish i wish age is like this the fact that you can go back from 17 years old to 15 to 16 to 10 it's like Man, don't you wish age is like that? <laughs> I bet someone who's like 40 years old would love it to actually have those eight, those years just run down from them as if it's an ice cream cone and it's dripping now. <clears throat> well, I'm done and well, I won that match that I was secretly doing while talking to you guys. So thank you for watching and yeah, this is basically the impact on you on YouTube that happened to me. Well, besides the whole now I'm boycotting stuff, but hey, that's for a different video, isn't it? <clears throat> but anyways, thank you for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more.